also of uh, Tyrell Ferguson on YouTube. Uh, just follow YouTube, um, www.youtube.com backslash Tyrell Ferguson. I'm just going to give you guys a quick tutorial or brief of how I do my Tyrell Goes Live covers um, with the live um, live shows in the background. I, um, some of the equipment I use when I'm recording myself playing the drums is the Olympus Pen uh, camera, digital camera, and on my foot pedal I'll use the, the iPad Mini. Um, some of the software I use when I'm playing is Logic Pro and Final Cut Pro. Alright, and along with uh, Tune Tracks um, Superior Drummer. So, usually what I do is I'll go to uh, this Mac YouTube downloader right here, let that open up, and I'll find a video I want to use. What I just did, um, like not too long ago, like a couple minutes ago, was the Justin Timberlake Mirrors. So, I figured I'd just do that one right quick. Mm -hmm. Timberlake Mirrors Live. I take that and I find the video I want. Once I find the video I want, <clears throat> I just take the link, copy it, and paste it in um, Mac X YouTube downloader. Hit this link thing and paste and analyze. Now the resolution I usually use is uh, 720, and I use this one right here because it's MP4 and works a lot with um, Mac products and all this stuff. I don't have to convert it from, um, you know, Windows, Windows Media Play and stuff like that. So I just do that. Hit paste and analyze. Hit OK, and then click download. All right, this one I already downloaded, so. I'll just stop it. And when you download it, you tell it what target folder you want it to send it to. You want to send it to. So I usually send it to not this one, but whatever target folder you want to send it to. So once you do that, okay, cancel. Once you do that and you get to download it on um, movie, you open up your Logic Pro. And just actually drag and drop the movie into here just drag it to one and when you do that like drag it at the bottom it'll ask you if you want to import the audio uh, along with the movie because usually it'll just drag um, the movie in without the audio but if it comes in without the, um, the audio and, and it doesn't ask you you can just put import audio from movie and it'll give you a, a track right here this blue track and it'll be the name of the movie. This one says Justin Timberlake Mirrors Live iHeartRadio because that's the, the video I got it from. And also, it'll drag this movie in here. I have the movie on my separate screen. It'll drag the whole movie in. And this is when you guys see me start to play along with it. Like I said, I just finished it and I played along with it. I played with it. Alright, cool. So I'll play along with the, the song. And once I'm done with the song, I'll save it. Click save, of course. Save it where you want it to save. And then click export audio to movie. When you click export audio to movie, you want to do, again, MP4. Uh, and I always do the best quality. Best quality. Okay. And then it'll ask you where you want to save it at again. <clears throat> you tell them where you want to save it. Save. And then this is the important part right here. Um, make sure you click off this. See it's highlighted right now? You want to click off of it. Because it's like if you don't click off of it, it'll double his track. Like say you have Justin Timberlake track. It'll keep the music from his track that's right here, along with the original file that was from the movie. So this is the original file, but it'll be doubled, so it'll be twice as loud. 
So make sure you click off of it so you don't keep it inside the movie because you already have one right here. So click off of it, then click OK. I'm going to click Cancel because I already did it. I already saved it. And once I'm done, I'll save, I'll save all my stuff right here. This is the exported track uh, to the movie with the drums over top of it. I'll let this play a little bit so you see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> And it has me playing the drums over top of it. <clears throat> so once I'm done with that, I'll take all these, the three files, I keep them all together. I open up my Final Cut Pro or whatever um, video editing software that you have. You do that. <clears throat> and I always go to a new event first. And import my media. <laughs> Got my movies. Da, da, da. Just did body party. Don't need that one. Need the mirrors. All three of my files are right here. Shift. Select it. Import selected. Create a new event. Terrell goes live. Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. Mirrors. <clears throat> Do that. And put all these. Alright, yeah, there's my three files right here. And I didn't tell you, I did tell you I use uh, Superior Drummer um, to access the, um, to um, trigger my MIDI sounds. So I use that. Because if I don't use it, it just sounds like that. And I don't want to use the uh, the rolling drum sounds. They sound too too computery for me, like too mechanical for me. They don't sound like actual drums to me. And here's my bass drum pedal that I use with the iPad. All right. And then after I import those, I do new project. New project again. Tarell. Close live JT. All right, then I'll clear that out. The next thing you do, I command, click command, and select all three of these. Then right click or double click if you have a um, not double click, but click with two fingers if you have a MacBook and do 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 do, do new multi cam clip. Multi cam clip, name it, and you want to use audio for synchronization so it syncs up uh, the main movie and uh, my sounds right here that I'm playing along with. Okay, very important. I'll take a couple seconds right here. And again, what that does, like you, you have to make sure that um, synchronized audio is clicked, and I'll show you why. Cool. All right. Now here's my new multicam clip right here. It has these four boxes, and what you do is you double click it, check it out, see how it lines up. All right, looks like everything is good. All right. These are the videos right here. I have three videos, myself, my, my foot pedal, and the Justin Timberlake live video. This is the first camera I turned on, was the main camera. Second is my foot pedal, and then I played the video, so it looks like it's all lined up. Pause that. Hit back right right here. Okay, hopefully it won't really drop. Hit this back button right here. All right, and then I drag this into my 
my project, the whole thing. And what you want to do is make sure these up here, make sure you're only switching the movie because again, the sounds from these other videos are just me banging on plastic. All the sounds were in the computer already, so I want to make sure I just switch movie and make sure I start on this one because that has all the audio and I'm only switching switching the video, not the audio. Alright, and I find a good starting point right here. Alright, and I'll click B, tap B, the B button for blade, and I'll cut it. And then I'll hit A for arrow, and I'll delete it. Click it, delete it. And hopefully I got this at the right spot. Hit play. And this is this is where I got those A and B, if you need to know. It's right there. And let's play a little bit. Cool. And that's usually how I do my covers. And when you do your cuts, all you're doing is clicking. Clicking here here wherever you need um wherever you want to make the cut and it has your view right here so you can see um where you are so i'll back this up i'll do a couple cuts i'm not gonna do the whole thing i just want to give y'all a brief tutorial okay. That's me. That's it. it usually doesn't skip when I cut and it usually uh, doesn't have any frames dropping but because I'm recording I guess it's um, kind of bugging out but that's it if you have any questions about Final Cut Pro uh, logic or um, just doing drums drum covers and uh, whatever drum software um, hit me up uh, Tyrell Ferguson at workwithtyrell.com or Tyrell Ferguson at ideacastle.com uh, idea-castle but I usually use the uh, workwithtyrell.com the most Tyrell Ferguson at Tyrell.com and you can look at my YouTube page all right YouTube page is uh youtube.com backslash Tyrell Ferguson again so if you have any questions just let me know all right thanks bye